Hey guys, it's here's Mike. We're here with Grind My Gears episode three. Um, today we're going to be talking about the this week in the gears, the update that's coming out, and then just a short little segment of what I my little critical thoughts for this week. Uh, so if you guys could hit that subscribe button down below, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave a comment of what you guys thought or some ideas that you guys we should talk about here in these next up upcoming episodes. Um, and then also go follow me on the Twitch channel. Link will be in the description below as well. Uh, so this week with this week in gears, um, we have the shoddy snipe starting up tomorrow, Tuesday, August seventeenth. Um, and with that, we have four different medals that come with it. So we'll have complete five matches to get four stars, do 75k damage to get five stars, get 20 headshots, and 75 eliminations. Uh, this is going to be on Guardian, and it looks like we're going to have access to the Marksa and Nasher only. Uh, so this will be a really fun game mode, I think, because it will be a little bit different than the long shot. So we'll actually get to try this out. Um, we'll have a lot of ammo out on the floor. It won't be just that one power-up weapon. We'll get to really test out that two-shot body shot or three-shot body shot. I think they switched it to three as of last week. And then also the headshot with it. Um, see how this power weapon is actually going to play um, in effect to the game now, um, especially with how it's going to be. And then Nasher's going to be fine, but Guardian, not really too big of a fan. Now we're probably going to get some stupid people playing it and who don't understand actually how to play it, run out as leader and just die instantly. But it's just a social game mode, right? So at the end of the day, we get to try these cool weapons. We get... 19 free stars out of it get closer to the end of the tour if you're already there you get to get further into the legend rank at that point um, next we have oh and then you also get the 3,000 gears points or coins if you complete that as well next we have the mist that's coming out for the escape if you guys want to know how to master that i do have a video on how to master that hive um, it is kind of old but it should still be um, up into you know what the current cards are with how to play and how to get the master on that so you can get the inconceivable rank on that one next we have the store um, so with this operation 8 store we'll get the collector scourge which looks pretty cool uh, we get a weapon set which is legendary so this is probably going to cost 10,000 gears coins uh, when it comes out to the operation 8 store so you can buy it for the coins instead of iron and then we have the 83% blood spray. I will buy this. This is a big meme since the game first came out. I don't know if you guys haven't played um, when the game first came out before they switched the Nasher to what it is now. 83 was the previous 99. Just a little, mon or a little thing towards that when the game was out. And then we also have the uh, quasi codal, I think is how you say this, uh, banner and mark. Next for the feature store. We got some, obviously, previous skins that were out. So first you have Hollow Storm Clayton. Pretty cool skin. If you don't have it, I suggest buying this one. And then you get the Eclipse Legacy set. Pretty cool skin here. You get the little Phoenix Omen um, thing with the flames on the background. Kind of looks like the Master skin set a little bit um, with this one. Just a lot more fire compared to the Master one. And then you get the Snapped Execution Pack. Pretty sure this goes for all pistols. It's a really cool execution that you get on there. Uh, you basically just grab the head of the opponent and then snap their neck. Um, pretty cool one if you guys like those. And then you also get the screwed mark and the screw blood spray. Next, we'll have a Black Steel Classic Baird. Uh, so if you guys liked him in Gears 4, you could buy him again for $3 USD. I think it comes out to like $4 uh, Canadian and whatnot. Um, and then we also are getting a new skin brought in. It's the Hacker Set. Uh, pretty cool skin on here. Probably won't buy it because it is kind of expensive to get it. Um, it's really not that expensive, but for a skin that I'll probably never use, I don't think I'll waste the $15 to buy it. But still pretty cool if you like those ones and like to uh, spend your money on the game like that. And next we have the update on what might actually fix Capture the Flag. Uh, so the first update is a XP curve for re-up 54 and 55. I'm sure the majority of us aren't even up there that much. So it doesn't even matter that they fix the XP rank for those. And then the last is the capture the flag updates. I will be playing that this week, seeing how well this actually works out. I don't know if it's going to 100% fix the problems that are in here, but I think it will help alleviate the spawn camping. Um, so first, they upped the respawn protection to 3 seconds. It was at 1 second originally. And then they also have lowered the respawn time to 11 seconds. I believe this was 15 seconds if I remember correctly. Um, so this will be very good to see 
what it is going to look like um, with this game with the three second respawn uh, because I think it will help with the whole um, sorry cat keeps jumping up on the desk while I record this it will help with the people spawning and camping you guys um, so you can actually get that few seconds to get in there and try to kill them before they kill you because obviously before like I said in the last episode with the one second respawn timer you couldn't do anything by the time the screen went out of the black you were already able to get shot at and you can't really do anything uh, so majority of these maps with the three second it should give you enough time to get to the next um, cover system and hopefully kill the enemies that are in front of you or get some sort of advantage to then try to push out on them at least and not just die in the spawn so next we'll get into my little critiques uh, some funny things that i found out this week um, and then just some tips and tricks uh, i don't really have a video to show uh, because i didn't really get to go through all my footage over the weekend of playing um, but if you guys do want to see a little tips and trick come on to the twitch i can show it li live to you I'll do a little snippet of it over this week so I could have it all ready. Maybe I'll even put it as a little YouTube short or something or TikTok or whatever um, and throw it out there since it's just a little thing on how to get uh, a little advantage in ranked or social, whatever one you like to play more. Uh, so one thing about the grind my gears that I am super kind of, it's not more, it's more of an annoyance and it doesn't really affect the gameplay all that much, but it's just the communication that TC has with us. Um, so I like to play execution. Um, I don't know if you guys play execution at all. You know, you might not be your forte of game modes, but with execution, uh, the biggest one that I've seen, at least on the map Mercy, um, it used to be up in the top hill was a drop shot that spawned up there. And now they just switched it to a claw this season. And there's zero patch notes of you know these weapons swapping out in these game modes um, so i think it would be very helpful going forward if you are going to change weapons you know go for it if it's going to make the map play better um, but if we are going to change these weapons let's at least get it put out there so people know um, and it's not just a surprise when you load up the map the first time um, I think it's a very easy thing to put in there, like, hey, on XYZ maps in these game modes, these weapons are going to be swapped around. And then second, I really think in the single life modes, especially as a execution, all power weapons that are explosives, at least the drop shot and boom shot, um, even torque bow, I think, needs to be scaled down a tad bit, um, needs to spawn with less ammo. I think the boom shot and the drop shot should only spawn with one shot. Uh, because two shot, especially if you get the active, you know, if one person can kill half the team, I think it's a little bit OP to be honest. Um, especially once you get to the hot play, you start playing with the higher ranked dudes who can shoot that thing from across map and have 100% accuracy with it. It gets kind of ridiculous and it makes some of the maps not that enjoyable to play because you have to go for that weapon now. Where if you don't have all four people running towards the explosive weapon then you're going to lose because if you only have two people well guess what their whole four team, team of four is going there they kill you two well now they have a power weapon with two shots of explosive rounds okay yeah you might have got a sniper or m bar but whoop de fucking do you're just gonna die from a drop shot or boom shot regardless you might get one or two kills out of it but it doesn't really matter you ain't gonna win the round so i think if they reduce the ammo and then i think it would help out a lot um, precision weapons like the M-Bar and long shot, I'm fine with keeping high because you got to have that precision to at least get the one shot, one kill. With the boom shot, you just active reload the thing, you shoot around the corner, you can kill a guy. You can shoot on top of a wall and you can kill the guy who's behind the ledge. Um, torque bow, the magnetism is way too high. So I think that just needs to be reduced down to maybe three shots instead of five in these in the respawn ones like team deathmatch and you know capture the flag now i'm fine with keeping that up there because you have infinite lives well team deathmatch you don't really have infinite lives but you have more than just one per round where it can really make or break the the round there um and then last a tip that i have for you guys is if you guys are running up to a dude on cover and he is hard aiming you do not run up on the cover and try to hard aim and shoot him. 
there is an actual delay in between you hard aiming and trying to shoot, and there's an actual delay with him already hard aiming and shooting you. Um, but because you have to still hard aim, his delay is going to be less than yours, and you will always lose that gunfight unless he obviously misses. But if you are going up to a wall, and there's a guy hard aiming and looking at you, go up to that cover and just free shoot. There is zero delay in you going up to a cover and free shooting as long as you don't back A and cause the delay for yourself. Um, but you shouldn't have to because you should just kill the guy. Um, but practice this in a mat, in a bot round or something um, and just try to get decent with it. Um, but if you can get up there, get on the wall, instant shoot, you can instantly kill that guy. And his little shot, it might show on his screen that he shot. But because of that delay on there, he actually won't shoot the shot on you. You'll get the free kill and get the survive and continue on with the round or continue trying to, or you just win the round. Um, and last, a little funny tip that you can do. If you guys are looking to complete the daily challenge of getting grenade kills or even going through the metal to do instant grenade damage, if you go into a bot lobby in your own custom private match, um, make it obviously so people can't join you because it's not going to be fun if people join you and you're trying to do this boost. But you can put it on control, and I like putting it on checkout, but you can put it on any map you want to. But if you switch the weapons to only be instant grenades, you have to go into the settings and say weapon swap to instant grenades only, all the bots will actually stand still. They won't move on you. I don't know why. It seems like TC made the bots where it's required for them to have a weapon in order to move. I'm not 100% sure percent sure why they made it like this but you'll spawn they'll make their noises when you walk up to them they'll do their little war cry or whatever you want to call it or they tell you to suck their dick or whatever um but you can just throw a grenade and kill them um so this is an easy way to get you know like your five daily grenade kills or seven grenade kills or whatever the hell they go up to and i know there's the metal out right now do like fifty thousand damage with a shot grenade or instant grenade or something like that uh, so this is an easy way to get that one, unless you're playing Escape or Horde. But it's just a funny little glitch. I saw it when I was trying to complete my daily of that. I don't, so I haven't seen any really videos on it because it doesn't really mean much. Um, but one thing I'm going to try to do, and there might not even be a way to do this, but I think it'd be really cool to figure out a way to make the bot stand still and try to have it where you can spawn like a torque bow or a sniper or something on the map. And then you can try to practice with free shoots. Um, I watched a TikTok of a guy earlier this week who was active reloading his uh, torque bow and was just free shooting it and killing people from across the map. And I think it'd be really cool to test that out and figure out a way to doubt having to you know have five people in the lobby with me. I can just do it by myself and do my own little science with it. But go ahead, try it out. Um, I will be creating an email this week as well uh, because I do want to start up community videos where you guys can send me through this email cool videos of yourself, you know, of a cool play that you did in ranked or social or whatever. And then, you know, based on which people I get in, I will start showcasing those in these videos themselves, give you credit for it. You know, if you have a Twitch, I can shout your Twitch out in that as well. Uh, but to get some more community people into this, and then hopefully if we get a bigger of attraction, um, maybe we can start doing, um, I don't know if you guys know Chaps from the Reddit, but maybe doing like another podcast like that. He does TACCOM. We could do our own thing. We could even join with Chaps and bring back TACCOM because I don't think it's been back in a few months. Um, but I think that would be cool. Get the community here. Get some feedback. Hopefully TC will listen. And then when Gear 6 come out, we could have some good feedback for that. And then hopefully they can implement what we're trying to push forward to get into the game. Obviously, it can't be ridiculous. It has to be, make sense in the game in terms. But I think it would be cool to try this all out. So let me know what you guys think. Again, please like, subscribe, comment if you want to comment, follow the Twitch, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.